They, they were looking at maybe a third or a fourth place finish there. They finished second, but Florida State men, they need to be perfect if they want to win this thing. Just so much power with Virginia Tech and Virginia finishing this day. The women's 1500 meter is up next. The finals and David a chance for Rachel Pokraski, fresh off winning the 1500 and the 800 a year ago to get another championship here in 2019. She does have a shot, but I really think Pokraski is going to be more about the team points than anything else. We were talking before, and I really think that if her teammate, Sarah Edwards, who's the indoor ACC mile champ, is ahead, I don't see Pokratsky fighting her for that title. I just think they want to put the points together. It's possible for those two to combine with their teammate, Lauren Berman, to score as much as 20 points realistically in this event. So this event is huge for their points. But we've got three also from Florida State who were shut out last year in the distances. Marty Skyring comes in ranked number 19 in the NCAA in this event, leading the way for the Seminoles to try to break that juggernaut up of the Hokies. So Sarah Edwards, who had the fastest preliminary time yesterday, a 4.19.84, the indoor mile champion, out to the early lead. Prokratsky is right behind her. And then you see the trio of Seminoles on the outside, Maudie Skyring, Jody Judd. Maybe the surprise of the bunch was the performance from Megan Mooney yesterday. Megan Mooney had a seven-second PR in qualifying. That's unheard of at 1,500 meters. It was a great performance. And uh, one of the Florida State staff turned and looked at me shortly after that and said, we weren't expecting that. And that's a great surprise for them. That's exactly what it takes to win championships. And these distance races have been an area that Florida State has tried to shore up. They came up empty last year. This year, they're feeling they have a chance to really lock in some, some pretty steady points. And they absolutely should here. I expect them to do that. The question is, can they disrupt Virginia Tech scoring the big points out in front of them? And right now it is the, the duo from Virginia Tech, the indoor mile champion and last year's 1500 champion outdoors, Edwards and Pokratsky leading the way. Pokratsky has the meet record. It was set last year. She ran a 4-10-03 down in Miami to capture the ACC title. Edwards one, Pokratsky two. Wake Forest. It's Johanna Schultz tucked in on the curve. She was the indoor bronze medalist in the mile and she ran a PR to be able to qualify to this final. So a lot of firepower out there. It's been a smooth transition for Schultz. She's in her first year, a graduate student for Wake. She sits third. Maudie Skyring, the Australian runner in the number four spot. Now for the first time, we see Lauren Berman start to make a move. She wants to join her two teammates near the front. Jody Judd responded immediately when she saw that. And well on the outside, Nevada Moreno, the freshman, a three-time high school All-American, seven-time North Carolina State champion. This is her first ACC championships final. She's an accomplished miler at the high school level, trying to put it on the line here today with these more experienced runners. And we've watched Moreno close some gaps in her first year. She is a runner who gets stronger the deeper the race goes. So you know she just wants to stay within striking range of those top three or four. And we see Moreno, in fact, start to make a little bit of a move now on the straightaway. So NC State, Nevada Moreno makes that move like we're accustomed to seeing. You heard the bell. One lap to go for the women's 1500. Edwards remains in charge. Talked to head coach Dave Cinelli of Virginia Tech, and he said, Rachel Pokratsky is very strong and can incrementally just turn up the pace and pick up the pace. Edwards has the ability to switch speeds immediately and quickly. She's like a lightning strike. But what we see there, Paige Duca, Boston College, going to the outside. She was fourth in this race last year, but she had also run the steeplechase the night before and finished fourth there. She's trying to see if she can make a bid here without running the steeplechase yesterday. Into the far turn, they approach the final curve, and it's Pokratsky who has made the move. Edwards is still digging behind her in that number two spot. Will there be a repeat champion in the women's 1,500 meters? Edwards digging. Pokratsky still with that lead. Rachel Pokratsky, Virginia Tech. And the Hokies go 1-2. Pokratsky, Sarah Edwards, Virginia Tech, 18 points. Florida State third. Wake Forest with Schultz in that number four spot. Terrific finish there. Rachel Pokratsky showing why she's able to be the All-American and double champion. Just the strength of her. She just kept going and kept going and kept pushing that pace and was able to beat everybody else down and pull away. Edwards, her very accomplished teammate, unable to go with her, but a strong second for her. 18 huge points, and we'll see, did Berman make it in? Berman did not make it into the scoring. Here's where Pokratsky 
just goes. We don't see a big move. We don't see a, a flash of lightning from her, but we just see her accelerate slowly, steadily. She opens up her arm swing a little bit more, and eventually it opens up a giant gap for her. She wins by uh, five-tenths of a second, not a giant gap, but opens up a gap that wasn't there before and, and wins by half a second over Edwards battling into second. And you were wondering how these two, mate, uh, these two teammates would react and push each other throughout the course of this race. Well, we just saw it, an exhausted Berman being helped up by her two teammates, the champion Pokratsky, the runner-up Sarah Edwards, Virginia Tech dominates the 1500 as we expected. Berman just misses out on a team point in that number nine spot, edged out by Boston College, Paige Duke.